Bill Koshevar was in a bike accident eight years ago that left him with a severe spinal cord injury. He's paralyzed from the shoulders down, but today he's feeding himself mashed potatoes and drinking coffee. He's part of a study at Case Western Reserve University where researchers have combined two investigational technologies to obtain remarkable results. Robert Kirsch is chair of the university's Department of Biomedical Engineering. For the first time, we've implanted brain recording electrodes in a person and an FES system. FES stands for Functional Electrical Stimulation. In this case, 36 electrodes implanted in Koshavar's right upper and lower arm electrically stimulate the muscles in his hand, elbow, and shoulder. But that is only part of what he needs for the movement. When somebody has a spinal cord injury, a perfectly working brain is essentially disconnected from an otherwise perfectly working body. Research study co-author Lee Hochberg says the brain-computer interface, brain gate, reconnects the part of Koshever's brain that controls movement to muscles in his arm and hand. Surgically implanted electrodes on the surface of the motor cortex of his brain transmit neural signals that researchers can record. We were able to decode that brain activity, send those commands down to the FES system, and he was able to reach out and pick up that cup again with his own arm and hand. Koshevar describes his ability to move just that little bit as awesome. You know, yes, I'm injured, but it's not like my life stopped when I got injured. We've bridged his spinal cord injury. He can now think about moving his arm, and his arm moves. My father said, you really want to do this? I said, yes. Somebody has to do research. If nobody does research, things don't get done. Koshevar's contribution to that research through feedback and suggestions is enabling doctors and engineers, like Hochberg and Kirsch, to build technology that will help other people with paralysis in the future. Now we can tell the world it's possible to reconnect the brain and make the arm move again. Other investigational brain gate research has shown that people with paralysis can control a cursor on a computer screen or a robotic arm. Bronwyn Benito, VOA News, Washington, D.C. Reach out. Lower your arm.